Hey, what is good, man? I'm going to play a full quick video for this show of these t misfits pretty much making something of nothing and being very entertaining, nonetheless. I think there's a lot that I'm taking from this show that I enjoy more than I continue to look for anything that is negative and whatnot. So, knowing that this show is doing some pretty good stuff has me more interested in the group dynamic further on easier <clears throat> because when you think about it not only did i get to see how this dragon can fights we still have no idea of the betrayal that she's gone through outside of probably being attacked by her own teammates with that being the final straw with her and the other girl to the point where they just didn't want anything to do with each other because of the uh, attack in itself. And that was a telling sign of what we could probably look forward to learning about her. Um, outside of that, this is amazing. I like the small details of them giving each other weaknesses, strengths, things that they probably would not give out willy-nilly. But because they know of it, there's things that they can cover each other on just by knowing these types of things. For instance, if a monster is very bad to fire, we can put the dragon kin up front. But if it's not, everything else is pretty much in the hands of the mage and she can handle it. And same goes for the healer. As long as he's not in a close range battle, even though he was trying to be um, early on in the battle, he was kind of put in his place in the case of like... Yeah, you feel like you're not doing anything, but the best thing you can do for us is heal us, and we will keep you covered and out of those situations. That's his natural reaction to not wanting to trust anybody. He wants to be able to do everything because of how he feels about himself, and it's that's why I really mess with this show heavily, is because they keep introducing ideals of what they've gone through and how they want to present themselves now, when in actuality, they're trying to do things that they don't necessarily need to do. And for the maid, she's just a little short-tempered, right? Like, she just pops off a little bit too hard. And luckily, the dragon king was like where the attack was coming and not towards her. But it was just a fact that she got attacked in general by her allies so early on in their first adventure. It's not that good of a look, so... Overall, I think they're taking the route of this party very seriously, and I like a lot of what we did. Uh, me and my brother were talking about it for before he got too deep into it, but he can tell they're going to be broken, and I can as well. Our main character, who sells himself short or you know, was kicked off the team because he's quote-unquote unneeded, just kind of shows you how broken he has his times of being against like goblins. But maybe when it comes to something as big as that ogre, um, and how easily the dragon can took it out, those are things he knows he shouldn't just be going up against it by himself, so I really like the mindset and how things are going so far. Overall, let me know what y'all are thinking about this one. I'll definitely be keeping up with it. Not too much going on Monday yet, but things are coming, so we'll see how it goes. Take care, y'all. Peace.